so another week gone and our sales dropped quite a lot down to just over 500 pound uh monday to uh to today which is saturday there's a couple of sales that were late sunday which i haven't included in that total because it's just easier just to do it day by day rather than hour by hour so yeah here's what we got sold so rogue one on blu-ray sold for 12.99 including postage a model bike kit sold for 40 pounds including postage rage on the xbox 360 two pound 50 including postage not a lot but just clearing old dead stock angry birds star wars 3ds 5.99 i think it was a white Wii Remote 24.99. Just one of those, not bad. Okay, and somewhere in here, there is a Nerf N Strike Stockade. I bet that was an earache listening to that. Uh, plus, we've got three lots of 10 unofficial darts to go in as well. Stockade, stockade. And we also need. stock for it as well makes life a lot easier selling it with the stock sorry this was 19.99 posted also got an olympus recorder which should be in there we go it's that one now i think olympus that's the one uh, 50 pounds including postage so i did a little bit of ebay shopping and i think i think I could probably have done with a knife, but a pen will do. Packaging is really bad. Oh God. I'll have to double check. So this was the packaging. Really terrible. Good price though. So I'm really looking forward. Oh, what is that tape about? Do not recall that tape being there. It's going to be a case of getting the sticky off and trying to get that little bit of tape off. But you don't see many of these, and I think I paid £35 plus the postage. And here's a Satec Booster Boy for the Game Boy. Oh, so looking forward to getting this out. Tato Legends listed it yesterday. Sold today for £10, including postage. A Boppet Extreme 2, £27.50. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Extreme 2, £27.50, including postage. Splatoon on the Wii U, £12.49, including postage. So, me and the rest of the guys have actually gone back to work this week. We went into furlough for three weeks in order to try and help break the back of everything um, and prevent the initial spread of the virus uh, so we went into lockdown for as little time as possible um, i'm on private land before you guys ask because i'm looking directly at the camera and there's there's literally nothing around apart from a cow and like six rabbits so yeah we are now back to work so i've noticed that uh, sales have slowed down i think if we break uh, a grand this week it's going to be very very surprising um and one of my lockups, uh, which I, I get for free um, due to it being a friend, uh, he needs the space. It's only a small room um, in a relatively decent sized warehouse with offices, but he, yeah, he needs the room. So I went there early this week to, to clear out some bits. Uh, it's normally where I keep most of my new stock and it's just stuff that I just tend to forget about end up picking up two copies of GTA 5 on the 360 which I honestly forgot that I had and uh, what was for Grove Farm um, and yeah I also got Liberty City Stories on the Xbox 360 um, all of which obviously in the, the current climate are quite good sellers so kind of glad that I went back so I only picked up uh, I would say six crates and yeah I I've got probably another 30 crates
crates to get out of there. As I say, it's mainly the new stuff. What I would tend to do is keep that for the bulk of goods. To so say if I had 50 brand new inbox items, I'd keep maybe half a dozen at home and keep the rest at the lockup. Uh, I used to keep all of my, my collection stuff there as well. So I will probably at some stage go through and do my my boxed, uh, not Game Boys, uh, N64 stuff, which I don't have a lot of, and my Pokemon card collection or merchandise collection from uh, the, the late 90s to early 2000s. Uh, try and get a rough price on that as well, which I'd imagine that probably be some quite nice clickbait uh, but I'm just putting up to this farmhouse so I will leave you guys there um, yeah adios just dance two four pound twenty including postage Lilo and Stitch 296 posted and also another Bop It Extreme 2 but obviously there's no point in showing you that again so here's Lilo and Stitch more that is absolutely everything so i hope you guys are still enjoying this new weekly update type thing we'll still do the monthly things um or like the the big sales throughout the month and we'll go from there but yeah just keeping this uh this lockdown thing going although as i said previously i now am back at work hope you guys are all safe and well and you've not all uh torn each other to shreds yet because uh, i know that it can be quite strenuous being stuck in a house with your loved ones for quite a prolonged period of time as always thanks for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you lovely lot in the next video good gaming and happy collecting adios